All right, our next operation is drilling for the trophy base. So we're going to go over a few things on the drill bits first. So typically I like to use the machine link drill bits. They're short compared to the jobber link drill bits. These are the same diameter but one's longer than the other. If I were to use the longer drill bit, the jobber link drill bit, what tends to happen with that when I'm drilling is it may try to wander around on the surface. So that's not good. So you have to go in with the center drill first. So you normally drill with this, drill down until you have a little bit of a funnel shape for this drill bit to start and get and be located in the right location. So to skip having to do two steps, I just prefer to use the machine link drill bit. So for one of the holes, for our 632 hole, is we're going to use the 530 seconds drill bit. And then we have another hole which is larger that's going to be a press fit uh, quarter inch basically. So this drill bit is 15 64 so 1 64 under a quarter inch. We'll be dreaming, drilling for this first. And then we're going to come in later with the reamer. And I'll show you that a little bit. And that uh, will be to clean up the hole and get to precise location. Not location, but precise diameter. So whenever you need a really precise diameter, you need to finish with the reamer. So first, we're going to go ahead and drill the 530 seconds hole up here. I'm going to put it into the drill chuck, which I've already put in here. Tighten it down. I'm currently in the center of my slot because we already edge found it in the previous video. So we're good there. I'm going to come over and position the a mill. I'm moving my quill handle where it's easy to uh, drill. Get used some lubricant here for drilling. Turn on the machine. It's set about uh, 2400 RPMs right now, which is a good RPM for that small drill bit. I'm going to use a little bit of lubricant, place it on the drill. I'm going to come down and drill a little bit, retract the clear of the chips, add a little bit of lubricant, and we're going to repeat that process a few times. Until we are through the part. All right, we're through the part there. Turn it off. We're going to clear our chips. Take our drill bit out. So it's always good to go ahead and just take a rag, wipe off your drill bits. You don't want to put it back in the indexes all dirty and stuff. It makes it quite a mess and it's not good. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the next drill bit. Bigger 1564. So we're doing the reaming. Tighten it in place. I'm going to move to our location where the hole is going to be. Alright, so that's our four quarter inch hole location is. Turn it on. I'm going to slow this down about 2,000 RPMs for that drill bit. I'm going to add some lubricant. And then drill. Again, retract a little bit. And lubricate as you go. be reamed. Reamers are a lot longer so you have to move the table down. Alright, so the reamers we can't spin them nearly as fast because so they're going to chatter. So I'm going to turn this on and move it to about a thousand RPMs. I'm going to put lubricant in here and unlike the drill I'm not going to do the peck drilling I'm just going to run it right through so make sure it's well lubricated and run a reamer through all right so our holes ready again clean off your cutting tools and wipe off the surface. What we're going to do now is we're going to flip our part around and use a counter board for the other side. So we're taking the part loose, flip it around. You don't need to worry about knocking it down with a hammer for this operation. I'm going to put my counter board in there. Move back to our location for this hole. What I want to do is go ahead and use our stop again. I'm going to bring it down, then I'm going to bring the knee up until it just touches. And RPM in this would be good about 1,000 RPMs as well. I'm going to 
bring it up until the cabinet board just starts to cut. Okay, it's cutting right there. So I'll move the quill back up. I'm going to zero my knee, my Z axis. And the print shows that it has to go down 0.23. So I'm going to now move the knee up 0.23. Now I'm going to come over here and drill like I did before. And yes, you can peck drill this. Alright, so we want to just clean up. And this step is now done. Alright, the last thing you want to do is go ahead and deburr these holes. So here's a little hand counter sink. All I have to do is take it in the hole, twist it a couple times. Take off the sharp edge, flip it over, do the same thing on the other side so that the sharp edges are gone.